guys, uh, my name is Carrie Davis. I'm one of the campus ministers at City Life, um, and we are sitting down with Eric Stevens, who is an elder here at City Life, and we are about to start with Night of Worship 2019, and we are really Woo! excited. Yep. Yes. So, Eric, you are a great exhortation guy. Right. Whenever you do, whenever you get on stage and you have the microphone and you are trying to build up the body and praise, do you think about one person? person specifically or do you think about like the whole congregation well a, a lot of times I think about really how I would respond to God if he was to be the one walking in the room mm -hmm. and so one of the things I love to do is when I exhort uh, people to really give a shout of praise or, or just give it all to God really I imagine myself being in the same situation where if God were to physically walk into the room what would my response be? And as I think about that, my response wouldn't be one who's just kind of like, oh, you know, that's cool that that's God. Mm -hmm. But I would be overjoyed. I would be boiling over with excitement. I would be enthusiastic about that. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the things I love to impart when I exhort people is just the overjoy uh, 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 presence of God and just how mm -hmm. God consumes that. Mm -hmm. Scripture says that God inhabits the praises of his people. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and as we praise God, and as we exhort God, I really feel like God's presence is in that. Mm, that's yep. good. That's good. So we're about to have night of worship, and there are probably going to be people here from um, that we don't normally see sure. um, on a Sunday morning. What are you hoping that they take away from tonight? Sure. One of the things um, I'm hoping they take away is really just to, to engage God for the first time. If they're here for the first time, one of the things that I'm hoping and praying for uh, is really they seeing God as somebody who is tangible, somebody that mm -hmm. they can touch, somebody they can reach out to and grab. Mm -hmm. And really that's one of the things that uh, I remember as a college student. Mm -hmm. That's how God impacted me because God became real. Mm -hmm. He became not somebody who's distant and far away, but mm -hmm. somebody who I can reach out to and grab. Mm -hmm. And so as people walk into the room, as we worship God, mm -hmm. really I, I feel like as we create an atmosphere of worship and praise, mm -hmm. We are saying, God, fill this place, and not only the physical building, but really fill our hearts. Mm -hmm. And so I really feel like uh, it, it's a great time for them to engage God in a whole new way. Mm, that's good. So last question, um, how many kids do you actually have? <laughs> well, I've got four kids ages 10, 8, 3, and uh, 8 months old. So wow. our house is full. Yes. But, uh, Love it all. Well, I know and I've seen it. Their house is pretty impeccable yep. for having those ranges of kids. Well, yeah. thanks so much for answering. We're really excited. We're about to get in there.